Today, I'm gonna to show you where to find the fragments for the nuclear reactor. So we're gonna be starting right here at zero point. And uh, if you do not have your own zero point or you do not know where to find it, I'm gonna go ahead and link my starting guide right up here at the top and down in the description below. So from here, there are actually three locations that I'm gonna show you. And we're gonna to go to the first one is the most dangerous, but this place is littered, literally littered with fragments. We're going to turn southwest west and we're going to go about two clicks to the left of west. So we're actually going to the blood trench. And uh, if you've seen the guide where I go through all the locations for the Lost River entrance, this is the wreckage by the Lost River. It's actually in three tiers. And you will need a Mark III depth module to fully explore this wreckage. Although honestly, you could get away with a Mark II and just explore the first two tiers and you would do just fine. You will encounter ampules. There are warpers in the area and crab squids. Now a little bit about the nuclear reactor. This will give you 200 and 50 units of power per per minute. And if we put that into perspective with the other units of power, now once we're inside here, this down below, that is the blood kelp trench. And there's a warper. And we wanna go ahead and just stay here in the trench and just go along. The solar power, the solar panel unit will actually give you 75 units of power per minute. And the bioreactor will give you 50 units of power per minute. The nuclear reactor will give you 250. Now you can find rubies and uranite that you'll need for the rods along the walls here. So if you see any as you go, just go ahead and pick, pick some up. We're just gonna keep following on the right here. And as soon as it ends, we're going to go up and over. Now, we're doing it this way because the this is the dunes, and there's a lot of reapers here. And we're kind of trying to stay out of trouble. Right here. This is where we want to go. We go straight down. There's the wreck right there. Now, as far as the fragments... There's a fragment right there. There's a fragment right there. Just right off the top. Here's a fragment right here. There's a fire suppression for the Cyclops if you need it. Now we can go ahead and continue on. If we just wrap around this way, we go straight down. We'll actually see wreckage here on the sides and a piece of the ship that kind of makes a bridge there's a fragment right there there's a fragment right there fragment right there so for the second wreck we're going to be going to the sparse reef and we're going to make it easy so we don't have to kind of look for it now first of all make sure you mark your location of your zero point with a beacon because we're going to be judging the distance that we travel off of that so we're going to turn southwest west about two clicks to the right of southwest we're gonna go about 1,350 meters away. Now, as far as enemies go here, the only trouble I've seen is two warpers. They're pretty active and they're pretty close to the wreck. They're, it's a pretty large wreck and there's a lot you can scan here. Sometimes in previous playthroughs, I've found multiple fragments Sometimes I've found none or one. So hopefully if you're lucky, you'll find everything that you need at this one. I've never found any of the fragments inside the wrecks. It's always on the outside. Doing it this way along the top is just gonna make things a lot easier. There's some drops and in order to keep you guys from kind of getting turned around or missing your mark and potentially ending up in the wrong zone, 
I just think that this will be a lot easier. So if we turn around and we highlight over it, we're about 800 meters away. So back to two clicks to the right of Southwest, Southwest West. We're just gonna continue along on the top of the water. And truly the nuclear reactor is pretty much end game power and you could put it anywhere in the lost river in a cave and not to say that it's the best but it is definitely really good okay everything's starting to turn blue we're kind of in a new biome so let's turn around we're about 1150 we're almost there we go just a little bit longer now everything's starting to turn green turn around almost there go a little bit longer there we go we can just back up this way about 1350 from here we're just gonna you can actually see the top of it right here There is a fragment right here. And warpers. Now, if you are unable to find all three of your fragments in any one of those locations, the final place we're going to be going to is the Jelly Shroom Caves, the Degassi Base in the Jelly Shroom Caves. We're going to be looking for a specific entrance that's going to drop us right over the top of it. There are crab snakes in the area, so you need to be careful. But from here, we're just going to turn south. We're going to go right through the safe shallows, through the kelp zone, and right when it drops off into the grassy plateaus against the border there, we'll be looking for the hole. As it drops off, I want to go along the side here, thing to the cliff, looking for the hole. Here it is, right here. We're looking for this particular shape. There is more than one entrance into the jelly shrooms, and it can take you in any number of areas of the jelly shrooms. You're looking for this one specifically. And if we look at zero point, we're about 391 meters away from it. Well, let's go ahead and go right down inside. As we go down, this will drop us right above the Degassi base, as you can see here. Now there is a chance for fragments for the nuclear reactor to spawn around this base. I've never had it spawn inside, but around it, fragments can definitely spawn. If you found the guide useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss the next time I upload a guide.